Loving the sunshine, but it's a little nippier than what I was expecting, so I'm glad to see you have your coats with you. You know, this is a very exciting occasion. We're breaking ground for four brand new Habitat for Humanity homes in South Bend. There's a story behind all of this, and you can see from the signage that we are celebrating this year the fact that St. Joseph County was chosen to host the Jimmy and Rosalind Carter Work Project. For those of you that don't know, former President Carter and his wife Rosalind, since 1984, for the last 34 years, they've been taking one week out of their busy schedule to help build houses with Habitat for Humanity. And it is such an honor that they chose St. Joseph County as the site for the 35th annual Jimmy and Rosalind Carter Work Project. Give yourselves a hand as part of this community. That's an awesome thing. And it's so uh, good to have some of our partners that are part of this project that I'd like to recognize. First of all, I'd like to recognize Mike Keene, who's the principal at Thrive Michiana. I'm so glad that he is involved in this project, as well as Dwayne Workholder from New Energy Homes. You'll be hearing from both of them. We have representatives from the Carrier Corporation who are going to be putting in a geothermal system, and you'll hear more about that a little bit later. And also, we have James Mueller from the City of South Bend, the Executive Director of Community Investment. We so much appreciate the support of the city. And don't want to forget Kathy, standing behind me, who's the Executive Director for the Near Northwest Neighborhood. Um, as I said, this is something that this Jimmy and Rosalind Carter work project, this is something that's been happening for the last 34 years. And I don't remember how many months ago it was, it could be even over a year, it probably was, when Mike Keen came to me and said, Jim, uh, we want to do something with the Shetterly Triangle. Would you ever consider doing a partnership? I think he had heard that we had some land, we had four lots donated to us right here uh, where we're standing. And we said, sure. We said, you know, it's, it's neat to see the vision that the residents have for the near Northwest neighborhood. I've been working with Kathy for a long time and was excited to hear what their plans were and then what Mike's plans were. So Habitat said, look, it's the vision of the residents. We'd be happy to come alongside to help make that happen by donating these four lots, by helping to raise money to build these four houses. And also, there's a house right behind us, 1024 DeMod right here. Once we found out about the plans, Habitat purchased that house for $35,000, and we now are gonna be able to rehab that and make it part of this entire initiative. President and Mrs. Carter have a personal connection to South Bend. How many of you know that President Carter's first car was a Studebaker Commander? <laughs> isn't, isn't that a neat connection? Um, if you hear him talk about that car, he absolutely loved that car. One of the most fav well, the favorite cars that he ever owned. And we thought that was really neat to hear about that. We're excited about serving all of St. Joseph County. We want you to know that Habitat is actually investing $817,000 uh, in South Bend this year. And these four homes are a big part of it, and the rehab behind me uh, represents a big part of the projects that we're working on. So Habitat is thrilled to do that, but we couldn't do it without these partnerships. And I'd like to introduce you to Mike Keene from Thrive Michiana because he's part of the vision of what they want to do for here in Shetterly Triangle. And we're thrilled for his involvement, his expertise on sustainability and urban planning. It's very beneficial for Habitat to have that kind of partner. So, Mike, why don't you come and tell people about the vision for the neighborhood? Thank you very much. Um, uh, six or seven years ago, I joined forces with Dwayne Borkholder of New Energy Homes uh, in our shared dream to change how America builds its homes. Our goal is to make sustainable, high-performance housing that produces as much energy as it uses available to everyone. So we were thrilled when Cashy Struth and the Near Northwest Neighborhood Incorporated invited us to pilot our project uh, in the Near Northwest and offered us three lots here on Shetterly Triangle. We'll be working on the other, other end. We were even more thrilled when we learned that Habitat for Humanity owned the lots on this end of the triangle um, and uh, agreed to work together with us on this project. The NNN is one of the most diverse, inclusive, and connected neighborhoods in the city. Much of this is due to the NNN Incorporated. It is also due to the many churches in our neighborhood that not only steward the spiritual well-being of our residents, but are contributing to the very fabric of our neighborhood. Churches such as Kingdom Life Christian Cathedral, under the leadership of Pastor Michael Patton, who is here, um, and the work of other pastoral leaders, such as Charles 
uh, Can King, Kenneth Lee, and Deacon John Tugman. It, NNN is also a neighborhood in which every resident, whatever their circumstances, has a capacity and a talent to offer, and we welcome and celebrate each and every one of them. Together, we have reached out to the city administration and Tim Scott and the city council to help the NNN and its residents with new sidewalks, to plant trees, to pilot innovative new traffic calming initiatives. We thank them for their engagement with our neighborhood. Shetley Triangle and the collaboration with Habitat for Humanity and the Carter Work Project is a key keystone for all of us in our shared mission to create and develop, to create development without displacement in the NN and to create wealth in all of our neighborhoods and keep that wealth in our neighborhoods. And for Duane and I, this is just the beginning of our dream. So we're very happy to be here and thank you all for your support. Another unique thing about this project is these four houses that will be built are the most energy efficient, high performing houses that our Habitat affiliate has ever built and we've been building houses in St. Joe County since 1987. So we're excited about that. We're hoping that this is just the beginning of just even improving the energy efficiency of the homes that we built. Dwayne Burkholder is a big part of that, helping us with this new technology. He's the expert, so we want him to tell you a little bit about what's going into these houses. So, Dwayne. Thank you. I'm very excited to be here. I'm very excited, excited to partner with Habitat. Habitat, their goal is to bring true affordability to their clients. And that is the goal of New Energy, is to take what we've done, learn from the past, and really do something different with the structure. Our goal is to cut the energy uh, consumption in half and then be able to, to take a renewable resource and get it down to a net zero footprint. We believe, and the, the motive behind new energy is, a dollar saved is a dollar earned. So that's an old phrase, it's from the past, and yet it's still very relevant today. Uh, be able to give a family, a person, something that will increase in value and really go up in, or add to their their income. Our goal at New Energy is to build smarter, use materials differently, cut the energy consumption in half or more, improve the strength of the structure while we're doing that. And included in all of that is to reduce the cost. So it doesn't sound possible to a lot of people, but it is, and we're doing it. So. We are happy to start this project, this area, and partner with Habitat. Their stated mission is, or part of it is, to help people build a better life for themselves and their families. And that's very common with our mission. So that is why this is such a great partnership. And that is why today we're here starting our area development with in partnership with uh, Habitat and I'm happy to be here. Thank you. The families that will be living in these homes not only will be having just a tremendously energy efficient high performing home their mortgage payment which is uh, through Habitat for Humanity will be a zero percent interest mortgage and the average payment will be five hundred and fifty dollars a month. Uh, how many of you know that's affordable? Okay, yeah. uh, you can't rent a two-bedroom apartment or a three-bedroom apartment for that. So that is why the Habitat program is life-changing. Another thing that makes the Habitat program unique is we're the only program that I'm aware of that requires sweat equity, and that is something where our families will have to put a minimum of 250 hours of sweat equity before they move into their Habitat house. We have budgeting classes, we have construction classes to teach them how to be on the build site and help build the house. That's a very fun part of Habitat, but a very significant part of our philosophy of what we do. We do not give houses away for free. And my staff is smiling because they've heard that a thousand times. We don't give houses away for free, but it's something where our families can hold their head high and feel very proud that they came alongside volunteers. They helped build their own house, but they do have a mortgage. Habitat holds that mortgage and we 
reinvest those payments back into helping other other families so just in case you didn't know how the habitat program worked that's how it works we have also built houses on california street and cottage grove and tried to really be a part of this community not coming in doing our own thing hey we're habitat and this is what we do no we've more than ever before we're trying to come in at the invitation of the local neighborhood of the residents and to say what do you want in your neighborhood how can we come alongside you and help out and with that i'd like to introduce introduce you to kathy schuth who's the executive director of the near northwest neighborhood association and she, she can tell you just a little bit about what the plans are for this this neighborhood some of the exciting things that they have going on so kathy thanks Tim. Yep. It's a pleasure to see you all, and of course, I'd be amiss to not invite you to join us at the local cup or pay it forward coffee shop across the street when you're done here to warm up. That's great. <laughs> or, needless to say, we've been watching we've been watching this block for a long time as our offices are across the street, um, and uh, these lots are vacant because blighted properties were removed. So this is a long time in coming to how to understand to put this land into to back into good use for the community and the neighborhood. And I want to speak a lot to, to what Jim, Dwayne, and Mike have done, where when Mike came to me with his ideas to build these new energy homes, he wasn't just talking about making a dollar, he was talking about making the neighborhood a better place. And his first commitment to me was that he was going to knock on every door in the neighborhood surrounding this, these properties and talk to them about what they were interested in and what his ideas were. So the fact that not only that we weren't asking him to do that, that he knew as a neighbor that this is what he needed to do means a lot about the process that's happened here. I would also just, I, I couldn't speak highly enough about what Habitat has done as far as Jim is exactly right. Their ability, I think they're, they're turning towards not just building houses, but building houses and placing families into community. We would say that that's really, that's social capital. That is, that is wealth that you can't provide. Housing is one thing, but providing community and allowing families then to join into strong communities is something that's very difficult to purchase. So we, we believe that families moving in here are gonna be moving into an excellent, excellent situation. Our future plans are include many projects like this. The, the NNN works on, on our own housing projects, but anytime we could work on partnerships and all work together towards larger plans, that's what we're looking at. I think you may know that we're, we're very interested and we're applying for tax credits to hopefully rehab the building across the street, which has been a blighted project in our neighborhood for a long time. So we're always looking to it. And I would say for neighbors who are here, we always encourage you to come to us with your ideas. And we're, we're always looking for opportunities to talk to you about what your thoughts are, even for the vacant lots next to you. So again, thank you for this opportunity to talk. And we're just, we couldn't be more excited about this project. In closing, I'd just like to share with you a question that some of you might have on your mind, and that is, how was St. Joseph County, of all the cities that applied to be part of, to host the Carter Work Project, how was St. Joseph County chosen? And I wanna say, obviously, they did notice the success of our lo local affiliate, but that is in direct proportion to the support of our community. And it's a real testament to how our community has embraced the mission of Habitat and how involved you've been with us over the years, and we can't thank you enough. Number two, was the connection that we have with a gentleman named Leroy Troyer, who's a local architect, uh, graduate of the University of Notre Dame, lives in South Bend. He personally has led President Carter's build site for the last, it's over 30 years, 32 or 33 years. Uh, Leroy's endorsement and his help was definitely a big reason, but also the endorsement and the support of the University of Notre Dame. Tim, thank you for being here. Appreciate that. Father Jenkins wrote a letter on our behalf, which we so much appreciate. The students have built a house with Habitat for the last 25 years, and we so much enjoy that, that partnership. And there's so many other connections that we have with the university. Their support and their willingness to get behind this project was a big reason why St. Joseph County was chosen. And also, uh, Senator Dvorak, thank you very much, or Representative Dvorak, thank you for being here. Um, appreciate it. I'll close with this. One of, the la one of the things we like to emphasize at Habitat is we leverage taxpayer dollars better than any organization that we know of. So. <laughs>
Had to get that plug in there, everybody. For every dollar that we get in federal funding, uh, we can bring three dollars of private funding and the fundraising and the gift and kind and everything that we can bring to the table. So in terms of leveraging taxpayer dollars and leveraging impact, um, we think we have a good thing going and it can be good for our community. So thank you very much for your support. We are still looking for a few more families to join our program. And we invite all of you to go to our website at hfhsjc.org. And it tells you all about the Carter Work Project. And if families have an interest, they can learn how the program works and we can get them more information. So thank you all for being here. They tell me that now we want to take some pictures and pretend like we are construction workers and dig a few holes here. So what would you like us to do? So uh, if everyone will put a helmet on, we'll pick up a shovel. Oh, hard yet, sorry. <laughs> put on your helmet. So, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jill. She's going to bunch you guys up, and then she's going to give you a countdown. I think the shot is a little firm, so. Ground <laughs> shovel. Perfect. All right. I don't want to block anybody. So yeah. Jill's going to have you bunch up nice and tight. All right, so we're going to pretend like we know what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. Sure, I don't want to. You know what you're doing. Hey, uh, okay, everybody look right here and smile.